A man is suing the media for doing a story regarding, well, they didn't even do a story regarding his mullet, for featuring a picture that has him in it where he has a mullet. And then that photo was used as memes throughout the internet, and he's really upset about it. Okay, so this has to do with Ali Ziggy Mosmani. And I already Mosulmani. love the guy. <laughs> and he filed a defamation suit against the Daily Mail. Okay, so there he is with the... Are you kidding me? The, like... First of all, that picture, I mean, his mullet's hilarious, but it's incredibly flattering because he's feel, with that yes. gorgeous woman. Yes. Like, are you, he should be paying them. What a winner. Actually, I look at that photo and I think winner, right? This guy has won. I don't know. I mean, uh, that's a super hot girl, so God yeah. bless his heart. So anyway. I mean, I might do my hair like that if I thought I was going to get a woman like that. So this photo gets published in the media and the internet does what the internet does. They start making memes and he was mad about it because people were saying that his haircut was ridiculous. So he filed a defamation suit against the Daily Mail, Sydney's Daily Telegraph and the Australian radio network for publishing the photograph and making fun of his extreme haircut which he shaved at the front and long at the back, right? Um, now his lawyers claimed to the court that he was subjected to ridicule as a result of the coverage and that he had been been defamed as hideously ugly. But wait, all they did was take a picture of him. Like this is when like Bill O'Reilly's like, "Oh, I can't believe what these organiz liberal organizations are doing. They're quoting me." Yeah, those are your words. They get yeah. to do that. So if you've got a problem with it, take it out with yourself. Ziggy, you're the guy who thought that hairstyle was brilliant. All they did was take a picture of you. By the way, so defamation's an interesting thing though, right? Because he's saying they're defaming me by saying that I'm ugly, which by the way, the judges looked at this case and he's like, eh, no one's really calling you ugly. But anyway, let's say that someone was calling him ugly, right? Can you really file a defamation suit against someone who's calling no. you ugly? Beauty's in the eye of the beholder. What's ugly to one person might be be beautiful to another. That's, that's like your opinion, man, that's right? That's exactly what I was going to say. <laughs> but look, it, now, to, to be more uh, exact, different countries have different laws. Yeah. And in fact, this Donald Trump was talking about this the other day. He doesn't like the First Amendment the way that we have it in America because in our uh, system of law, if you're going to sue for defamation, you have to prove that the, that the allegation was false. Uh, so you have to prove you're not ugly <laughs> in this case, Amazing. right? And you have to prove that the guy, person who made that allegation uh, either knew it was false or acted negligently, right? So he would have a nearly impossible time winning here in America. But in the UK, it is assumed that the derogatory statement is false. Mm -hmm. So they have to assume that it's false that he's ugly. Maybe that's why he's doing it. He's like, I'll get the court to declare that I'm pretty. Okay, so let's hear from the judge <laughs> because the judge is, is very open minded um, to this lawsuit. Uh, so uh, Judith Gibson is her name, and she says uh, the plaintiff is entitled to plead an imputation of condition, namely being Damn. a ridiculous person for having uh, such a haircut, as well as an imputation amounting to an act. The imputation is reasonably capable of being conveyed and will go to the jury. Um, now, however, the publication goes on to say that the photograph has generated 11,415 comments, 10,000 likes, and 1.7 million views, which suggests that the hairstyle has its fans and opponents, but it's not indicative of ugliness. To the contrary, 10,000 people pressed the like button. So it seems like she's really analyzing this and, and kind of deciding, no, 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 there's, there's an interesting conversation happening uh, regarding your haircut. No. Look. You want to be bold, then be bold. Yeah. Don't come back and be like, oh, you hurt my feelings because I got the Ziggy haircut. It's like when Ha screwed the ridiculous mustache. I thought he should have policed that mustache. I agree. Okay, but if you're not going to police it and you're going to put it out there on Instagram, people get to make fun of you. They do, they do. <laughs> now, um, Look, I think it's important for us to show you guys the evidence in this case because this is a very important situation. And so I will show you the memes that have upset him. <laughs> That's really funny. <laughs> Wait, is it defamation to call that funny? Oh, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> uh, Ali Mosulmani, come take it up with us. <laughs> Let's take a look at the next one. <laughs> come on. You don't have a sense of humor about this?
It's fun. No, if you don't have a sense of humor about this, you're a bigger douche than your haircut uh, 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 depicts. Oh God. Oh no, now we're going to get sued. Don't say he's a douche. That's, you think he's a douche. Uh, he might be a douche. He might be a douche. <laughs> <laughs> Press the like button if you think he's a douche. <laughs> um, and let's, let's, let's roll through these. Uh, this is one of them that really pissed him off. It's a skunk, obviously, on his head. How can any of this piss you off, dude? God, Dollar bill. Grow, a, grow a sense of humor as well as hair. Barbara, what do you want? <laughs> <laughs> That's really funny and nerdy. Like, I yes. love that. John Iderell would love that. Yes, and then finally. All right, pin the, pin the tail on the uh, head. Oh, they're his pinning hair. the tail on his head. That's so funny. Yep. Dude, right. take your win and go home. A, you know what I was going to say? Let's keep it real. Uh, for, what's his name? Ziggy? Uh, yeah. Let me introduce you to the internet. The first thing you noticed was, oh man, he's with this hot girl. Yeah. You're going to get hate. You have a weird hairstyle and you're with a hot girl. Everyone's on the internet going, oh, hate this guy. Hot girl, hate this guy. Totally. Let's make fun of him. Totally. It's going to happen to you, dude. You just won. So just go ahead and take the hate because you're with a hot girl. Okay. Let the haters be your motivators. Yeah. Drink the haterade. Have a good time. Uh, do uh, what that guy in the XFL did. Wear a jersey that said, he hate me. <laughs> Embrace mm -hmm. it. Live it. Okay, but now uh, you've created a situation where the internet is going to make more fun of you. <laughs> Enjoy. <laughs> who who wouldn't understand that? The guy who got that haircut. Yeah. <laughs> That's who wouldn't understand it. The whole two-hour podcast of the Young Turks. You're going to get it. If you become a member, tytnetwork.com slash join.